a conic section in standard form will have equation, after a suitable translation, as follows. A parabola has the form 4PY equals X squared, or 4PX equals Y squared. An ellipse has the form X squared divided by A squared plus Y squared divided by B squared equal to 1. And a hyperbola will have one of these two forms. So a useful general strategy, identify the conic, identify the extreme points, sketch, and, as necessary, translate. So let's sketch the graph of this conic section. And remember, the secret to graphing is graph first, then label. So the first thing we might notice here is the x squared and y squared terms have opposite signs, and so this will be some sort of hyperbola. It's also useful to note that the graph of this equation will be symmetric about the x and y axes. And something that's useful to do is to look for extremes. The least a square can be is 0. And so the least x squared can be is 0. But in that case, our equation becomes... But this is unsolvable. Well, it's not that bad, but it does mean that there is no point for which x is equal to 0. On the other hand, the least y squared can be is 0, and so in that case, our equation becomes... And we can solve this, so we find... The points 3, 0 and negative 3, 0 are on the curve. Now, if we rearrange our equation a little bit, we note that if y squared is larger, x squared will also be larger. And so there are going to be points to the right of this point that we graphed. And since the graph is symmetric about the y-axis, there will be a corresponding point on the other side of the y-axis. And since the graph is symmetric about the x-axis, these points will also be duplicated below the x-axis. And so this hyperbola opens horizontally. Another secret to graphing is transformations. So notice that this equation is actually the ellipse shifted vertically and horizontally. So let's consider what happens with this ellipse. The least x squared can be is 0, in which case we find two points on the ellipse. And we can graph these points. Meanwhile, the least y squared can be is 0, in which case We find another two points on the ellipse, and we can graph the ellipse. Now, we'll take this graph of x squared divided by 5 squared plus y squared divided by 3 squared equals 1, and then we'll translate it horizontally to the right by 4 units, then vertically upward by 7 units. Or we could take something like this, and if we ignore the plus 2 and minus 5, we see that this is a translation of the parabola y squared equals 4x. And this time we see that the graph will be symmetric about the x-axis. And going to extremes, the least y squared can be is 0, in which case... So the graph passes through 0, 0. And if y squared is larger, then x will also be larger, so there are points to the right. And since the graph is symmetric about the x-axis, 
the points must be above and below the axis. And so the parabola opens to the right. And so we'll sketch y squared equals 4x, and then we'll translate this 5 units to the right and 2 units downward. And this gives us the graph of y plus 2 squared equals 4 times x minus 5.